My name is Chris Verity and I work at Addenbrooke's Hospital, Cambridge, as part of a team studying the epidemiology of childhood neurodegenerative diseases in the United Kingdom. Our current paper in developmental medicine and child neurology is about the children in our study who have leukodystrophies and genetic leukoencephalopathies. Leukodystrophies are inherited disorders of brain white matter that have glial cell or myelin sheath abnormalities. In contrast, genetic leukoencephalopathies may be associated with significant white matter changes, but these are not the primary abnormalities. We were able to carry out our study with the help of the British Paediatric Surveillance Unit, which pioneered the epidemiological study of rare childhood disorders in the United Kingdom. Between 1997 and 2014, we identified 1,580 children with progressive intellectual and neurological deterioration who had a known underlying diagnosis. Within this group, there were 349 children with leukodystrophies and 454 with genetic leukoencephalopathies. Together, they made up more than half of the children with progressive neurological diseases in our study. Most of the children with brain scan evidence of a white matter disorder had a specific diagnosis, but about 6% were undiagnosed despite thorough investigations. There were 18 different leukodystrophies with distinct clinical features. The three commonest were metachromatic leukodystrophy, X-linked adrenoleukodystrophy and Krabbe disease. We found geographical and demographic variations with relatively large numbers of cases coming from consanguineous families of Pakistani origin. We have found this with other neurodegenerative diseases in our study. Our paper provides an overview of brain white matter disorders which we hope will aid diagnosis provide background data for genetic counselling and clarify the number of children who could benefit from novel treatments for these terrible diseases.